That's how it's done, boy. Only a couple, but that'll get us fishing. Good one, bruh. <laughs> Top towards me a bit more. Why? It was chunky, man. <laughs> Welcome back to another vid. Uh, as you've seen, me and my mate Barry went out barrow fishing the other day. Had a good little session, got a heap of little fish. Nothing real big, but um, still good fun. Thought, might as well run you through my setup. This is the knot I used to tie it onto the braid. I don't know what it's called, but one of your mates showed me this when I first moved into town. And it's been good to me. I haven't lost many fish, or any fish, so I'll show you. Basically fold it into a loop, stick the braid through the mono, through the loop. You just loop it around. About eight times or so, pinch it there, loosely wrap it back over four or five times is the important part. You gotta stick it back through the same way that you come in, end up with that. Give it a little bit of lick, then you just pull it slowly towards that. Make sure you grab. Both tabs, just give that a real good pull like that. You want to take off the little tabs. Give it a test. That's what you end up with. And cut off about that much. These sinkers are just off throw nets. So when your throw net shits itself, get holes all through it, chop all the sinkers off it. And they are really good for running sinkers because they run super freely. And the hooks I like to use is a big 9-0. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's all you need. That's me basic barra setup. Running a Shimano Thunus. It's a 6000. It's a bait runner. So basically, you just chuck your mullet on, cast it out, flick that bad boy down. If it runs, it's going to pull your line. And then you can just reel and it clicks in. Set your hooks, catch a big barra. Happy days. <laughs> Show you what I'm going to be taking as well cast net, live bucket, hooks. Sinker, leader, the lip grips, rag mat, good knife, shit knife, booties, spare bucket. We are heading to Barry's little secret spot. Not so secret, everyone knows about it. <laughs> but the marsh is pretty wet from the recent rains. So I figured. I'll get the GoPro out and film because it might be a little bit slippery. Let's see how this goes. She's a bit, a bit wet. It's hard underneath, but yo! <laughs> That's how it's done, boy. I've got, I've got to turn traction control off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> They're all sand whiting, bro. I don't use sand whiting as a bait, eh? Not for bar. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry to ruin your day. <laughs> Oh, if only they were mullet. <laughs> it's not what we want. Only a couple, but that'll get us fishing. Well, the fishing's not on, and today is 40 degrees. It's hot as bold. And the fish aren't biting, so. I will well have a beer. Couple of froffies. Hey, stingray. size
tell you what, if you de-hook him, I'll throw you this mullet. <laughs> Get another one, you reckon? And I'm going to start the clock ticking, and you have to catch another fish. Challenge set. Challenge set. I reckon a minute ten. This camera's been running for 45 seconds. Alright, uh, we're just going to go a little. So landed and back in in 50 seconds. <laughs> to be continued. Uh, move, shadow. <laughs> yeah. Solid. There was a jump on him. Here you go, bro. Cheers. Settle, bro. that mob want to ping? Just tilt him a little bit. Top towards me a bit more. He just wants to come in. <laughs> oh. Nice bear, mate. Oi, oi, oi. Nice try. <laughs> One last leap of faith. He's off. <laughs> Good one, bruh. <laughs> right, go on. Nice, easy hook removal. Oh, yeah. Perfect <laughs> release. <laughs>
Chunky man. You. <laughs> <laughs>